Hi, welcome back to Taronga TV. I'm with Tony and he's a Tasmanian Devil Keeper. Welcome Tony, thanks Thank for you. being with us. Now, you mentioned before, they, they work with each other. Mm. Uh, they actually work on a kill, or like on carrion or, or, yep. or some, a dead animal that they find. They're not very good hunters. No. But they've got an incredible pulling power. That's right. You do something amazing. And I want to show you this, folks, because this is something you don't get a chance to see. Tony does a little bit of a tug, and, a tug of war with, uh, with Gunner and it emulates what they would do in the wild. They would meet up, they would get on a, a bit of carrion or killed maybe from something else or an animal that's died and they start to pull apart uh, the kill. And Tony does this amazing thing where he's got a, a special piece of uh, rope here and a chicken wing. Chicken looks today. like a, a piece of chicken. Chicken today, but yep. we feed them all sorts. We see them kangaroo tail, um, rabbit, rats, mice. Um, today it happens to be chicken. I'm going a bit easy on everyone, um, but you know, it could be a, <laughs> could be a fully grown rat. Yeah. Uh, and um, we do this tug of war really to mimic what happens in the wild. Yeah. Um, they do, he is, he's, you know, we're space limited here at Taronga, so he is living in here ma mainly by himself. Um, so we do all sorts of other stuff to try and keep his life interesting and yep. he doesn't get bored and this is one of them. Give him a bit of exercise for his food, so. Okay. You can see him smelling it. Yeah, absolutely. So Tony, there is a bit of a, a, a conversation that they've got the same pulling power as an adult human. That's right. Um, so. That's what I'm told, and, and he is pretty strong here, Hayden. You have a go. Oh, yeah. See how strong he is. He'll probably want to take it away. We, we might not keep him up on that platform. Yeah, let's um, let him get a little bit of light. Give him a give him, yeah, yeah, let, let his yeah. line out a little bit. Get a bit. lead on him there. Oh, yeah. Come on. Now try it. Now pull him oh, back. Oh, yeah. Now you can, really, you can really feel that. He'll want to come back over there. What else would you give him? I think you touched on it in the talk, but can yeah. you go into a few more details? Folks, I hope you're not eating breakfast at the moment or dinner, um, but let's go into some details about what the Tasmanian Devil would eat at Taronga. So they can eat, they'll eat anything they can catch, any, anything carnivorous. So um, we feed them kangaroo tail, uh, which would make a beautiful soup, I think, but they get to eat the whole tail, bone and all. Yeah. Kangaroo tail, um, rats, mice, Day old chicks, yeah. and the day old chicks are, are great because, in fact, that's what I was scattering earlier, earlier to keep him interested. Um, they've still got yolk in their bellies, so they make a great little protein feed and yeah. activity feed for them. Um, mice, rats, kangaroo tail, chicken, and rabbit if we can get it. We're not getting it at the moment. Right. Are you done, mate? That's a boy. Um, but definitely rabbit is a, is a good one, and okay. if we can get guts and what have you. Right. We give them a starve day once a week because that's what happens in the wild. Yep. Um, but every, every month or so, we'll also give them a gorge feed, which might be a whole chook or um, two huge rabbits. So in the wild, if they went for long periods of time without food, would they start to try and hunt for smaller things? Uh, yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah. And in fact, with the transfer of devils onto Mariah Island, which as part of the insurance breeding program, yeah. um, 40 square kilometres, which didn't have devils previously, I Mariah think Island's on the east coast, east coast of Tasmania. Tasmania. That's There's right. Like an insurance population down there. Insur folks. Part of the insurance population are, de are there. They've, they've kind of um, one of the things they've learned is that perhaps devils are better hunters than we thought they were. Right. They might even help each other. So they're hunting little wallabies and and um, even wombats, I believe. So they might actually be better hunters than we thought they were. Well, that's but interesting in general, because you know hyenas were thought the same thing, mm. and hyenas were always thought to be scavengers, and but they're absolutely superb hunters. Yeah. So there's a lot about science and animals that we don't know that we're constantly still learning. Um, Gunner, where did he get his name from? <laughs> I don't know. He came. He arrived here. He was born in Tasmania in Devils at Cradle down yeah. in Tasmania. So I'm not really sure where, where uh, the story behind his name, but they named him down there. It's a good name. I do know we had a devil here called um, Kiwi, female. Yeah. And we didn't know why she was called F Kiwi until, um, until we got her out of the box and she had not a single bit of white on her at all. So I'm assuming that whoever named her was <laughs> after the All Blacks. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they are incredible, really, really beautiful. Oh, and there he is. Come this and have is... a look at this, folks. This is something that we didn't see in the little piece we just near. He's now finished his meal, and this is what uh, Tony, we were talking about I before, love it when they do this. How beautiful yeah. it is. So he's having a big clean now. Chipmunking, I call yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> cleaning his face, cleaning his hands, getting all the little bits of chicken off him. The largest carnivorous marsupial in Australia, in the world for that matter, Tony, correct? In the world. You in never world. know what's around the next corner on Taronga TV. We'll see you next time.